Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be playing with a turkey baster. So to get started, we're going to lay down a small layer of base white paint onto this canvas. It's an eight by 10. We already have it prepped, taped off. This helps keep the bottom of your canvas clean and tidy and neat. So when you're done, when everything's dry, you can remove it and it keeps the backing just, just a lot easier to apply, to sign to everything afterwards. Then we use the, these little pins right here to raise it up off the table. It just makes it a lot easier. That way it doesn't stick to the plastic or whatever it is that you use below. So the three colors that we are using today are the primary colors of Soho's Cobalt Blue Heel, Soho's Cad Yellow Light, and Soho's Cad Red Medium. Sticking with the primary, that way when we layer it in, hopefully we might get a little purple, a little bit of green, maybe a little orange, the secondary colors. We're going to spray the inside of our turkey baster with Giovanni's Shine of the Times, which is a high gloss hair mist. That includes both dimethicone and so let's make sure it's extra sprayed. Oh yeah. All right, so now that we have the inside of the sprayed, we're going to place it aside and we're going to put this in a thin layer in the center. Put the base white down. So let's get this filled. And I'm going to add a little black. with a little red, a touch of black. Some Lucas Curl Titanium White. Next, going into the Cad Yellow. For the Cad Yellow, you want to do next because hopefully you can get some orange coming out of there. We're going to repeat just another splash of white and another splash of black. Oh, it's already dripping off the side. <laughs> so let's get our blue in here. Some white. Some black. And we're going to repeat real quick with the red. The yellow. And the blue. All right, so now that we have all three colors, it's already starting to drip off the side, so we gotta work a little bit quickly. I'm gonna remove this little plastic nib on the end of this syringe, turkey baster syringe. Ooh, you can see it's already starting to push out the bottom. So, I'm gonna try to get this in here, under the paint, and we're going to just push underneath the white. Cleaning that is going to be a nightmare. All right, so before I tilt or anything else, the next step I want to do, we're gonna hit it with a the torch. Then, oh, it's already starting to tilt that way. It'll work quickly. All right, now we're just going to airbrush this out. So I'm not getting a lot of color coming up from the white around there, so we're just going to start tilting.
get rid of that glare. Now we're just going to come in and I want to airbrush some more of this out into this negative space up here. I like the negative space, but it needs a little something. So the fun about airbrushing is you feel like you can just keep playing with it and playing with it. But I'm satisfied with actually where it's at. I kind of like it. It has some really cool cells going on here. I'm loving this yellow, green, orange coming out underneath the center here. Let's see if I can't get a little bit closer for you guys. So you guys can take a look as well. It's so cool what's happening right here. Yeah, a little turkey baster. A little injection right into the weight but let me know what you guys think I'd love to see you guys try something like this I want to see how yours turns out I'm going to definitely play with this some more so stay tuned for more videos I'm gonna try this again with maybe like a black base instead of the white and everything and I also have another video coming up so stay tuned for that this week I have a few. I have a live coming up for you guys. I have another 8x10 coming up for you guys where I'll explain that one more during that video. It's going to be a surprise what I'm doing with that one. And yeah. If you like this, please hit subscribe right there. If you want to see more with these colors, if you want to see another turkey baster, if you guys even do and you have Instagram, if you have Facebook, even if you have an email and you want to send me pictures, I have all of that link below for you guys. So you can uh, feel free to always share what you guys learn or if you guys try any of the stuff that I put out on my channel. I would love, love, love to see your, your take on it as well. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. You guys are amazing and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>